Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, in this video, we'll see how to validate uh, an Angular multi-select dropdown using reactive forms. So I already have a multi-select dropdown here, as you can see in the screen, and I have a button. So this thing has already been implemented using uh, using a reactive forms. So I implemented this thing in one of the previous previous videos. So if you want to have a look at how I did that, you can uh, refer uh, the, the link in the suggestions uh, above. So now, uh, for this tutorial, we'll see how to validate this uh, ng select, ng multi-select dropdown. So in order to validate this thing, so we'll add a span to show a validation message. I'll just add a class uh, to this thing called validation. show required uh, now uh, when you select an entry for this multi select drop down uh, grocery from the reactive forms gets uh, gets updated so we'll show this only when we have a we don't have a value for grocery like form dot like when, when once we don't have a value for this particular reactive form element so we'll just validate it here when once you don't have a value for grocery, it will show up. So it will show up initially, but initially we don't need it to show up. So we'll add a condition when form dot touch when like when the form is touched and when the grocery field doesn't really have a value. So it won't show up initially. But let's say I select all these values and I unselect still it won't show because on this it might be that initially the grocery might be having a value as empty but once I select and unselect uh, the drop down field might be an empty array so uh, dot length when it is also equal to zero then also we need to show now if I save and refresh initially uh, this thing initially this thing won't show up so once I select a couple of values, it won't show up. Now let's say if I unselect the values, required validator shows up. So this is how you add validations to a dropdown in reactive forms. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you have any doubts uh, related to this video, you can put, uh, put them down in the comments section. Thanks for watching.